welcome. And thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. On the 27th of August, 2024. The Bible reading today is John chapter 14, verses 24 to 27. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Today's article, titled Listening to God's Music, was written by Tanya Marlow. Swaying her head to and fro with pleasure, 13-year-old Lucy played a complex piece by Chopin for a televised piano competition, hitting each note perfectly. What made her performance remarkable was both the sensitivity with which she played and the fact that she is blind and has significant learning disabilities. The judges watched open-mouthed in admiration, wondering aloud how she learned to play. Unable to read music, Lucy puts her fingers over her teacher's hands, following his movements and listening carefully while he plays. Jesus wanted his disciples to learn from him, following his teaching, even after he was no longer with them physically. Jesus spoke the words of the Father, and then after his death and resurrection, the Holy Spirit would continue the divine teaching. This beautiful chain of intimacy and imitation now flows from God, the Holy Trinity, to us. As Jesus promised, the Spirit will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. The way Lucy learned the piano necessitated an intimate connection with her teacher, with her trusting him implicitly. In a similar but deeper way, we can lean on the Holy Spirit to work within us, following his movements and learning as we do. Rather than striving on our own, the Spirit will be our advocate, reminding and helping us. Let's make space to listen to the Holy Spirit's leading today. Let's pray. Loving Father, thank you that you did not leave us alone, but gave us the Spirit as a teacher. Please help me to learn from you and live in your ways. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name's Rebecca, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.